welcome back to my channel. So I'm both excited and a little bit nervous about today's video. Um, so today I will be sharing with you guys my pen collection, my diamond painting pen collection or pen stash. Um, I've never shared a collection video before because I feel like people can be not so kind. Um, so I just wanted to uh, come on here before I started pulling everything out and just say that I thoroughly enjoy collecting diamond painting pens. I really love matching pens to my kits. Um, I have slowed down quite a bit on my purchases uh, when I first found um, hand-turned diamond painting pens. I kind of went ham and I bought quite a few. Uh, I don't necessarily have that problem anymore. I can pretty much like limit myself to one at a time um, but for a while I wasn't purchasing kits I was purchasing pens so um, I just wanted to say um, you know try to be respectful <laughs> I am a little hesitant to share but I know that it's something that people like to see and it's a good way to uh, find out about new pen turners so I have quite a few shops here and I'm going to go through and pull out each shop and show you each pen that I have. Um, but first I wanted to show you the uh, how I store my pens. So I use these colored pencil pouches um, that I got from Amazon. I have six of them. They are not all completely full. It's just how I store them. I keep them by turner. Um, so yeah, so there's multiple turners in each of these uh, cases. I'm not going to like show you me taking them out of the cases i just wanted to show you how i store them i'm going to pause this and pull out the first couple shops and it'll just be multiple clips um, normally i try to do like one take videos but i will be um, starting and stopping for this video just so it doesn't waste your time so i'm not shaking the camera all around um, but yeah i hope you enjoy this video again just try to be kind everybody has things that they spend their money on. It's really nobody's business, in my opinion. Um, yes, I know I have a large collection. I enjoy collecting things and I use them. <laughs> there may be a couple that I haven't used yet, um, but I do use all of my pens quite often. So let me pause here and I will pull out the first shop and we will go from there. Okay, so my first uh, group of pens here are pens that I purchased off of Amazon. Uh, so when I first kind of realized that you could purchase pens uh, other than the little pink ones or blue ones that you get with the kits, I think like most of us, the first place I went was Amazon. So I have quite a few of these thinner style pens. I think one of these I got in a mystery kit that I purchased off of Amazon, um, but these are quite thin and not ones that I necessarily use as much anymore, um, but these are good ones when my nieces come over, they like to use these ones. So I have those, I love the yellow, but these were some of my first um, pen purchases. And then, uh, Amazon started getting into these like thicker style and different style turned pens. Um, so I have this one here. I purchased this one a couple years ago for Christmas. I just, I, I still use this one because I think it's beautiful and the sparkle is just unreal. And then my boyfriend actually got me this one for Christmas a couple years ago. I, I do prefer the thicker style, so I do still use uh, these ones every now and then. So that is Amazon. Um, on Amazon, I'm not going to leave like I'm not going to link these pens off of Amazon, but if you are interested, um, I just search diamond painting pens and something of those variations will come up. Now they a lot of them come with um, tips, which is really cool, like metal tips. Uh, so the next style of pen that I went into was the clay pen. So all of these are from, I believe it's Queso Crafty Designs. I think she took a break for a while, but I did see recently on her Etsy that she had uploaded... Uh, a couple of new listings. I love this one. These are really pretty and, you know, I'm not opposed to using them. They're just very basic shapes. So the clay, like all clay artists for diamond painting pens, they mold it around an actual 
pink pen. Um, but yeah, I use these a lot. I remember using this for my first drills and chills. Um, very beautiful. I mean, amazing clay work. Um, I just find these to be a little bit fragile for me, um, but I do love them. They are beautiful. So those are Queso Crafty Designs. I will link her Etsy shop down below. And then the next pen shop that I have here is Diamond Art Club. So for a while I was collecting the Diamond Art Club pens and then they just kind of went ham and released a bunch at the same time. Um, but yeah, so I fell behind. But these are a really great option if you're looking for a, a different type of pen. I believe these are $14.99 on the website. Now some of these they may not have anymore, but they do have... A pretty large selection and they're really beautiful so here's this light blue one super glittery reminds me of that red Amazon pen we have this one here I don't remember the names of these but we have this red and blue with the silver flake this one here this was one of my favorites it was one of the first ones that I had and it was Definitely, definitely well used. This is actually one of their newer pens, and I believe this one is still available on their website. I just loved the coloring of it. It's a little bit thinner, um, but still really pretty. This pen I had a lot of issues with. This one's actually glued. Um, I had purchased one, and then it broke in transit, so they sent me another one. And then this one broke while I was trying to put the multi-placer in, so I just glued it. I love this one. This is a great one for fall. Along the same lines, but a different colorway. So this one here with the blue. Then we have this one here, yellow and green. And then this really pretty pink one. This was another well-used pen. Okay, so let me put these ones away and I will pull out a couple more shops. Okay, so now I'm going to um, show you some shops that I have just a couple or a few pens from. So this first one here is Sparkle DP. Um, her pens are available on Etsy. I believe she's located in Canada, um, but she does these really cool personalized pens. So I picked this one, of course, with cats, and she put my name on it. These are super lightweight. They're just wooden pens. Um, so if you are looking for a lightweight pen, uh, hers are great. And then I also purchased this one here, which is a little bit shorter. You can see that. But this one says Sagittarius, which is my astrological sign. And I purchased this one to use for the... Uh, Sagittarius Josephine wall kit that I have from Diamond Art Club. Um, so yeah, I think these are really cute and I have, I have used this one before a couple of times and I actually really enjoyed using it since it's so lightweight. It's really easy to flip around if you're a multi-placer. I have not used this one yet because I have not worked on that Josephine wall. So that's Sparkle DP. Next up, I have Enablers Outpost. Now, I purchased from Enablers Outpost very, very early on in their pen turning career. I have not made any purchases recently, but they have some beautiful pens. Um, their Etsy drops just sell out really fast. Um, but these are my Enabler Outpost pens. So I remember purchasing this one for Drills and Chills. It has a really beautiful, like, micro shimmer in there. Very comfortable to hold. And I have this one here, which again, I think I ordered these two together because they're very fall themed. But this one's really pretty and again, very comfortable to hold. And then I have this bright yellow. It's actually washing it out a little bit on camera, but it's like neon yellow glitter. Love that one. So those are from Enablers Outpost. And next we have Brewers Custom Turning. Now they're over on Facebook and beautiful pens. It is quite a long wait to get um, pens from them. I waited on all these for quite a while, but 
that's not an issue to me. Uh, as long as I know I'm getting them, I don't care when I get them. So this was the first one that I ordered and it's beautiful. Uh, this sold me and I was like, oh, need to go back <laughs> and get some more, but it has some pine cones in there. Really beautiful. And then I ordered these two together. So this one here I'm actually using on my current project, which is a Chuck Pinson. I think the colors are just perfect. Um, but another pine cone. And then I have this one here, which is awesome. Look at that purple glitter. Some kind of wood. I think, is this Chula wood maybe? So yeah, Brewers Custom Turning, they have a Facebook group um, and they do drops. And I think you can do customs through them. I'm not exactly sure. These were both, or all three of these were just drops um, that I commented on first, so I got them. So I love those. And then the next two shops that I have here are a little bit larger. Um, I have a few more, but they're still small-ish in my collection and these pens will not stay. There we go. Okay. So next I'll show you Lazy River Wood Turning. So I have four pens from them. Uh, these two were my first. I believe these are both diamond cast. I do have the certificates of authenticity. Uh, so this one, I think this one's Valley Girl, maybe? Pink with the purple. And then this one's really pretty. And then I have two more. I have this beautiful hybrid, which <laughs> I was like, I need to get this one. Their drops, if you have never purchased from Lazy River, are notoriously difficult to get pens from. And I was ready and I could not believe I actually got this one. And I also have this one. I think this one was like strawberry lemonade or something, but the sparkle in it is unreal. Okay, so that's Lazy River Wood Turning. And then the last shop I have here to show you is Kevin's Creations. So I found this pen shop through Lindsay over at Life with Lindsay. Uh, I think she said they're real life friends. <laughs> um, and she kind of persuaded him to start turning diamond painting pens, which is awesome because they have some amazing styles. Um, so here's the first one. I don't remember the names of these, I apologize. Um, but it has the blue, kind of like steely blue with the copper. This isn't wood, it's just is copper. Resin, I would guess. I think this one was called Underbelly and I just thought it was so cool because it's basically like a completely different pen on the other side. So it's a really pretty blue and then you turn it, it's like bam. <laughs> and then I have this hybrid. Love this one. It's really simple. It goes with so many kits because it's just such a neutral. I have this pink and blue one. And then my favorite from them is this Christmas tree pen. All right, so that is Kevin's Creations, Lazy River, Brewers Custom Turning, I believe, Enablers Outpost, in Sparkle DP. So let me put these ones away and I will be back. Okay, so the next couple of shops that I wanna show you, they're all in the same case. So I just, just decided to pull the case over. That way I can show you the inside. So these are the pencil cases that I use and they just have these uh, little rubber band type things that you slide the pens in and out of. So the three shops that I wanted to share with you next are in here. So we will start from the front. So these pens right here are my Patriotic Team pens. Um, you can do customs through them and they also do drops. So that's how I've accumulated these ones. Uh, this pen here was my first from them. This was a custom. Uh, they used to do pick a blank. I don't think they do that anymore, but here is the first one. This is a cocoon blank, which you will see that trend in my collection quite a bit. I absolutely love cocoon blanks. So here are two more of the Cocoon Liquid Arts. Uh, these two are also Cocoon pens, uh, blanks. Uh, they're hybrid style. And then this one. I remember I missed out on this one and then she turned another one and I snatched it up. <laughs> so there's those two. 
This one here is very special because the name of this pen was actually Laura Lee. I believe their daughter's name is Laura. My name is Laura and my sister's middle name is Lee. So I was like, yep, gonna need that one. And I just think it's so cool. I feel like this kind of looks like a butterfly or something. And then I have this big one. This is, I think, the largest turned pen I have in my collection. I believe this one was called Mermaid, if I'm not mistaken. Really beautiful. And then we have this one here, which I struggled to get a single single placer in for some reason, so I just have a four placer on that side. So those are my Patriotic Team pens. And then next we have C'est Plus Beau à Tour. I know I butchered it, it's fine. <laughs> um, they have quite a few different types of ways to get their pens. You can pick a blank on their Etsy shop. They do Facebook drops and they do Etsy drops. So the first pen I ordered from them because I was dying to have one was one of their um, pick a blank. And my favorite colors are gray and yellow. So I picked this one up. It's not much, <laughs> much to look at, but the style is really awesome. And it is, it is a beautiful pen. I love the shimmer in it. Um, we have this one here. This is one of their honeycomb hybrids. I think this was the first one that I got from one of their drops, like an Etsy drop maybe. We have this pink one. Uh, whenever I do, like if I do a custom, I think I just, when I did this one, I think I just did the you choose so they get to choose the turning style. Um, I love all of their turning styles, so. So there's that one. This one has really cool, like, purple duochrome in there. I love this pen. This one's very, very well used. The pink with the light blue. This one's kind of funky. <laughs> I definitely got this one in one of their earlier Etsy drops, um, but I have used it. You can tell there's wax in there. I have found a kit that this matched, um, but it is really pretty if you look at it really closely and then we have this one which is probably my favorite from the bunch this is one of their cinnamon it does still smell like cinnamon one of their cinnamon pens and then i have another honeycomb which is this pale yellow and blue this one is also well loved i've used this one many many times so those are c'est plus beau à tour and then finally, back here, I have my Mad Wood Turning Pens. Now, I use my Mad Wood Turning Pens differently than some, I would assume. So their pens that I have, at least, are all one-sided. So I purchased some Everlasting Tip Straighteners. I actually need another one for this one here. Um, but I use these as straighteners. So I pretty much use one with every kit that I have or that I work on. Um, I just try to match the best I can. So I have this yellow one here with, I think this is a 12 place straightener. And then I have this purple and pink one. Pink. I love these, they're so beautiful. This green one, I love hybrids. You will see a lot of hybrids in my collection. They are some of my favorite, which is unfortunate because they're often more expensive. This beautiful, look at this one. I love this one, orange and yellow. We have a gold flake. A clear one, which gets quite a bit of use because uh, it matches everything. this silver flake and then I have one of their regular pens which is full wood and this is so lightweight again if you are looking for a pen that's super super lightweight because you have problems with your hands or whatever this is amazing I use this pen a lot this is the pen like Sometimes if I'm using a different pen and it just gets so heavy, this is the one I pull out because it is so lightweight. I absolutely love it. Okay, so that is Mad Wood Turnings, 
Say Plus Beau A Tour, and uh, Patriotic Team. So let me put these ones away and I will be right back. Okay, next pens are from Axon Iron and 802 Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa. So let's start with Axon Iron. I do have quite a large collection uh, from Sam is the owner's name. And yeah, I mean, his pens are beautiful. So he has a couple of different styles. I have two of them. Um, but he has some other ones, so I'll link his Etsy shop down below um, so you can check him out. But these pens, again, are super, super lightweight and great if you have hand problems. So this is the first pen that I purchased from him, and I have Everlasting Tips in this one. Isn't this gorgeous? So after I received this pen, that's what started the love. <laughs> so here's this one. Now these ones are shorter. Uh, let me pull one of Lisa's pens because this is closer to a, a normal size pen uh, so they all they are shorter so if you have smaller hands or you struggle with carpal tunnel or something these are really great so that was the first one and I have this green one I realize that this style may not be for everyone um, but I have pretty small hands uh, and they work really well for me I have this one. I just love all the colors. This one reminds me of Mardi Gras. <laughs> we have this Galaxy pen. Love this one. How many times have I said love this one in this video? <laughs> we have this one here. I loved this pen so much. I actually bought a second one and used it uh, on for one of my Instagram giveaways. Love that one. This is the perfect, like, Valentine's Day pen. This 10 placer looks so funny on here. <laughs> this one here. Beautiful. I'm 99% sure he pours all of his own blanks. He also makes rings and a whole bunch of stuff over on his Etsy, so definitely go check it out. I have this neutral one, which is awesome. I love having neutrals for when I don't have the perfect pen this teal and copper. This one's super pretty teal and purple. This one reminded me of like roses when I saw it. I don't know why. The red with the green. This purple or nope, this is pink. <laughs> pink with like a purple duochrome. You can see that there. Really pretty. We have this one. This one uh, was actually sent to me by Sam. This one and another one that I will show you guys in a little bit. Uh, he sent me this one. I had ordered quite a few and he was like, I'm going to send you some pens. <laughs> this uh, purple pine cone. We have this one, which is like 80s to me. <laughs> Looks like an 80s pen. Beautiful dark red with the black. Almost done with Axe and Iron. We have this one. We have this one here love this one just the, the colors are just so fun the blue with the the, the gray <laughs> blue with gray and white we have this one which is really fun and then this is a different type of style so i guess i have three of his styles this one's really fun. And then I have a couple of his full-size pens. So I have this one, which is Halloween. I normally have a one of these 3D printed ones on the back here. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but I love this pen for Halloween. And then this, I believe, is another one that he sent me, this yellow pine cone. Love that one. Okay, so that's Axe and Iron. So again, uh, a different size pen, much smaller, but if you have hand problems or have small hands, these are perfect. 
And then I have 802 Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa. Now, a lot of these are cocoons. So, like I said before, they are my favorite. Uh, and I believe I had her choose the turning style for these. So here's this one. I just love the cocoon blanks. This one here reminds me of the beach. So I use this on a lot of beachy paintings. The sand and the water. Love this pen. And I have this pink and orange one. I feel like I keep shaking the camera. So I'm sorry about that. This one here is another one of my favorites. I love how she turned this one. This one is so bright. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up. Yeah, this is so bright. This is like neon yellow in person. Uh, but this one's really fun. This is one of my favorites. It is silver, gold, copper. Love this one. And I have everlasting tips on this pen. I have this one, which I think I have this in another from another uh, pen turner. Um, but this one just reminds me of watermelon. I think I had forgotten that I purchased it from another pen turner. So you may see one of those come up in the future in a giveaway. And then I love this one. I used this paint, uh, this pen on Snow Queen when I completed that because I thought the colors were just perfect and there are everlasting tips on this one as well. So this is 802 Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa and Axe and Iron. Let me grab the next one. Okay, so next up is Diamond Painting Pens by Bella, I think is the, the shop name or DP Pens by Bella. I have a lot of cocoons in here, so let's get into it. So we have this gray and teal, which is one of my favorite pens. I used this one on Mad Kitty this year. I love this like highlighter yellow with the gray. I think I mentioned before that gray and yellow are my favorite colors. So anytime I can find a combo of those two, I'm in. <laughs> Another gray and yellow. I just love Cocoon. This one here, one of my favorites. I have a tray that matches this pen perfectly. <laughs> so whenever I use this pen, I use that tray. We have this one. This red and green one, which is really fun for Christmas. It also kind of looks like a watermelon. This is my favorite pen from Bella. Um, it's a hybrid with this beautiful blue. Love that one. Another hybrid is this yellow with the wood. This is a really comfortable pen. I have this one, which I purchased for Christmas, like the first year I had found diamond painting pens. I have this one here, which didn't quite turn out as I was hoping, but that's just the nature of pen blanks. You don't know what they're gonna look like. So this one isn't necessarily a favorite, but it is fun. Again, I love yellow, so I have this yellow and white. I love this white pen. It's just such a beautiful neutral, matches so many paintings. This one here was my first pen from Bella. I have this one, which I think is beautiful, purple and black with the pink in the middle. Another cocoon. This kind of abalone with the uh, like minty glitter in the middle. This is another one of my favorites, absolute favorites. Um, it has the silver honeycomb. Love that one. And these are everlasting tips. You can tell my absolute favorite pens because they have everlasting tips in them. Uh, this one here, which is really, really pretty. I like this one for spring. And then I have this one. So those are my pens from Bella's. Let me put these ones away and I'll be right back. Okay, the next shop is uh, Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and More. 
They are over on Facebook. They also have an Etsy shop under O'Brien Custom Turning. Now, this was the first pen shop that I found when I started purchasing hand-turned pens. And they, I think they still do, but I used to participate in the mystery uh, partner pen swap. So you would sign up and you would be matched with somebody and then you would pick pens for each other. And I didn't really love the pens that I was getting, um, so I stopped participating. Um, but I do still purchase from them. I have, they offer a really awesome layaway plan. Uh, so I do have a couple of pens on layaway with them, but, uh, I'm not going to wait for those to come in. I'm just going to show you what I have here and those will make it into an updated pen collection somewhere down the road. So this, um, shop is the first place that I found cocoon through. Um, so I have quite a few cocoons from this shop and just other fun pens. So let's do it. So I have this light pink and purple. Love this pen. I absolutely love this colorway. I don't know why. I need to find a painting to use it with. Um, they do pretty simple pen shapes, but this is their beaver tail, I believe, and it is my favorite. It's so comfortable. I have this purple and teal one. I use this one on the Jasmine and Aladdin Aladdin, <laughs> Jasmine and Aladdin kit that I worked on this year. I have this pink and teal. A lot of cocoons from this shop. This one, I love this colorway. I love matching the 3D printed tips to my pens as well. Similar, but actually, wait a second. This is the same. <laughs> so you'll probably see one of these pens in the future in a giveaway. <laughs> I didn't realize they were the same. Uh, purple, yellow, and pink. And then pink, yellow, and orange. I just, like I've said many times, I love Cocoon. They're my favorite blanks. I have this glitter one. This one is, I believe this was from a Would Be Nice blank. This was before they started turning their own pens, which I need to check out their pen shop. I didn't realize they were turning now. Uh, I have Everlasting Tips in these ones. This was my first pen from this shop. I don't believe this was a cocoon. I think this was from a different blank maker, but I still love it. This one was one of the mysteries on their Etsy shop. So you can purchase a mystery pen. And this is what they sent me. This is so cool. This is a wooden pen. I love that one. Then I have a couple of these. Are these the... I think these are the thermal, like the temperature changing pens. I'm looking to see if, I thought I had another one, but I have this, which I love. I almost used this for one of my mermaid kits, but I decided to use a different pen. I believe this one heat changes to yellow. I'm not sure I'll be able to make that happen. We have this purple with white, love this one. And then I was kind of bummed with this blank um, because I was hoping for more gold glitter, but unfortunately I didn't get one of those blanks, but that's okay. It's still pretty. And then I have this beautiful pine cone. I love that it's so like cut in half on this side. I think it's beautiful. I have some glitters. Like this one and this rose gold. Love those. We have this one here, which the color of the blank looked a little bit different when I purchased, but that's okay. Again, it's the nature of buying blanks. You never quite know what you're going to get. I think it's still a really beautiful pen. This would be really fun for like an Alice in Wonderland kit. And then I have this one with the sparkles. I love this type of glitter. Really pretty. I have this one. I don't know why it has two singles on either side, but this one is just sparkles galore. I won this one in a drawing from them. Really cool hybrid. This is my favorite pen from them. It is, I think this is a Rapture Resins blank if I'm not mistaken, but again, everlasting tip so you can tell it's a favorite. This is just so sparkly and beautiful. Then I have these three, which are all from Would Be Nice, and it is their 
metallic flake collection. Uh, so we have the copper, gold, and silver. These are really pretty. I love these. Then we have this one, which is super neon. Um, not sure the camera's picking that up, but it's a beautiful orangey yellow with pink. And I matched the tips again. Love that one. And then I have these two, which I was a little disappointed in, not from the turning. The turning is great. I've never had an issue with turning from this shop. I just thought I would like the blanks a little more than I do. I feel like I may de-stash these ones in the future. Um, I just don't love them as much as I had hoped I would. Okay, so that is uh, handmade diamond painting pens and more, or O'Brien custom turning, depending on where you shop from them. And then at the back of this one, I have my Butterfly Effect Wares collection. Um, I found these guys pretty early on when they were, they had a different name when they first started. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have this one here. Beautiful. I love this one. This is another one that reminds me of the beach. So I use this one on quite a few like oceany kits that I have. Love that one. I have a couple hybrids from them. So I have this one, which I love. This also is kind of oceany to me. And then this one here. And this sparkly pen is so beautiful. I hope the sparkle is really coming through. It's so beautiful. Looks like a Jolly Rancher or something. <laughs> we have this one. You can tell the older ones because they have their more basic style, um, but I still find this really comfortable. We have this yellow and blue. Again, I'm a sucker for yellow. And this, I believe this was actually called Little Mermaid. If they bring this back, I love this blank. Uh, so pretty. And they actually sell metal tips. So the tips that you see on these ones aren't everlasting. They're their version of a stainless steel tip. This one, which is beautiful, especially for spring. This would be really pretty with a Josephine wall kit. And then I have two of their newer styles. So they're getting a little more like decorative with their turning. This is their rose gold blank, which is stunning. And then this is one of their black prismatic pearl pens, which is gorgeous. Love that. Okay, so this is Butterfly Effect Wares and uh, custom, no, handmade diamond painting pens by, no. <laughs> handmade diamond painting pens and more. There we go. Uh, so let me put these away and then I believe we have just one more shop left. So I'll be right back. Okay, so last up is Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Now, I know a lot of people um, love Jim's shop, and I know some people feel like the turning style is too simple for them, and that's totally fine, um, but I love Jim's pens. I find them very comfortable. I use them a lot, and I find it easier to find certain blanks from his shop. So what he does, if you're unfamiliar, is he just lists blanks on Etsy, uh, you purchase it, you tell him how you want it turned. He has a couple of different styles and then he turns it and sends it to you. So they're not instant because they're not pre-turned. He's not selling a pre-turned pen. He's selling the blank. Then he goes through, you know, order, however the orders came in, he turns them and then ships them. So I have a pretty large collection from him, as you can see. Um, there have been certain blanks that I've wanted from different turners and I just couldn't find them or they sold out and Jim is really good at stocking some really really awesome blanks so he is one of my favorite turners um I have not had an issue with any of my pens I absolutely love all of them so I have some cocoons I have some flower girls I have a bunch of hybrids and then I just have a bunch of other stuff so let's start so let's start with the cocoons here I'm hoping these don't roll away for me so I have this beautiful pink and blue. I'm gonna put the ones I show you off to the side here so they don't keep rolling away from me. I have this teal and this looks white, but I'm pretty sure when I purchased that it was this, it was light pink. I might be wrong. I'll have to go back and take a look, but either way, it's 
It's really pretty. We have this blue and like a pale orangey color. I love this one, the red and purple. This is a really cool one for Halloween, the gray with the green and like magenta. I have this one. I just, again, I love cocoon. And this one here is actually a cocoon, I believe this rainbow one. Oh, the other day I was like, oh, I feel like I have to buy a rainbow pen, but I have one. Yay. <laughs> so there's that one. Then I don't know the blank turn of this one. I just thought it was such a cool pen. So I picked it up. I love the colors, like pearly colors in the middle there. Again, I love my yellow. This is like a really bright neon yellow. I should mention most of the pens that I have here are four bumps. Um, I'll show you when I get to the pens that like my first couple of pens that I ordered from them. Um, cause I ordered a couple of, I think I ordered one, four and one, three, so I could decide the style that I liked. Um, so I do have mostly four bumps, but I will show you the threes. So I have a couple of actually a four flower girls from him. I do have some flower girls from handmade diamond painting pens and more. I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, but I love this yellow with the wood. This, I think, is my favorite pen from him and one of my favorite pens in general. It's this hybrid flower girl. I just love, I don't know, I love how the, the flowers turned out with the turning. I think it's just beautiful. Again, a favorite, so everlasting tips. Here is another flower girl. Love the colors of that one and then i have this pink like are these cattails maybe i don't quite know but you can tell i love the hybrids i have a lot of hybrids from jim so then i have this beautiful pen here silver glitter i don't know the turners on all of these um or not the turners i don't know the blank makers for all of these but if i do know i will share that this had to be one of the earlier pens i ordered from him because it's a three bump um i don't know why i just loved the this is a lime green it's not quite showing up on camera this was uh not one of the first first pens but it is an early pen that i purchased from him i loved the red glitter for christmas this is also one of my favorite pens. It's this fall leaf hybrid. I don't know if you guys can see like where the wood lays, but it just looks so cool. I love this pen. I have this rainbow mesh hybrid, of course. <laughs> love this one. You can like feel the texture. It's so cool. Love that one. This is another favorite, again, another hybrid. I think he calls this blank faint, fancy pants, which just makes me giggle. Um, but I, again, everlasting tip. So what do I do? I love it. <laughs> what does that mean? There's that one. This one is just really cool. I wasn't quite sure on this one when I purchased the blank, but it just turned out really neat. There's just chunks of wood throughout this blue resin or acrylic, I'm not quite sure. Love that. I have three of these stabilized wood pens. Now, again, these are super lightweight and I gravitate towards these pens when like my hand hurts, I've been using larger pens or heavier pens. These are just really great. I love those. And then I have a couple of these segmented hybrid pens. I just think they're so cool. You'll see I have some of the segmented just like acrylic or resin pens, but I thought the hybrid ones were really cool as well. So this one is like a deep red, but there's also some really like deep royal purple in there. I just think these turn so cool. And then I have the purple version. And I think this is my last hybrid. It is wooden on both sides, and then it has a really beautiful, like, abalone-esque center. 
you'll see I have a lot of this style from him where it's like the same colors or two different colors on the ends and then something in the middle. I just love that type of blank. Okay, so second row, we're getting there. We have this, there's actually star glitters in here, if you can see that. I love this pen. So pretty. This is great for like any kind of galaxy or space type paintings. I think I purchased this one. Oh, I purchased this one for um, Mona from Diamond Art Club and Hannah Lynn when I worked on that one. I purchased this pen specifically for that kit and I think it's really awesome. I was collecting his glitter blanks for a while. I haven't purchased from Jim in quite a while. Um, like I said, I've kind of been trying to scale back on my pen purchases, but this is one of the glitters that he still offers in his shop. I've seen this one. I love the big like hexagon, hexagon chunks of glitter there. This is a pen that I purchased for Halloween, which tell me this isn't like the perfect Halloween pen. It's got orange glitter, black glitter with purple and green. I love this pen. We have this one here. So this is kind of that same style I mentioned before. It's red glitter, purple glitter, and blue. I just love this segmented kind of look to that. This pen here I purchased for a Chuck Pinson that I did. I did American Roots and there were flags in the front so I thought the red, white, and blue was really cool. Another pen that I purchased for Halloween, we have the orange and purple with the like shimmery creamy color in the middle. I like just the random, like, look, there's just a random blob there. I just think it, it's cool when it's like that. Makes it unique. We have this same type of style, the purple with the blue. And then there really isn't any shimmer in this one. I think, I think this one actually glows in the dark. I believe it does, if I'm not mistaken. We have this really, really pretty. This is bright, bright pink. The camera's not quite ca uh, catching that, but just the light pink shimmer on the top, purple shimmer, and then this, this one might actually glow in the dark as well. I store my pens in those cases, so they never actually glow for me, but I'm pretty sure those last two are glow in the dark. We have this one here, which has the abalone and then the black in the middle. This one is quite similar. It's abalone with the clear sparkly pieces in the middle. If you can't tell, I really love the abalone or mother of pearl look. These next four are quite similar. I don't think I realized just how alike these ones were. So you may in the future see a couple of these in the D-Stash group. Um, not D-Stash group. No, that's not what I meant. You may in the future see me de-stash these or give them in a giveaway of some kind. Um, so these are kind of that same style with the colors on the end and then the clear in the middle. This one's quite different. I do like this one. Color is not quite showing up on camera, but it's neon green on the ends. And then this is kind of like a yellow and white swirl. But these three are quite similar. So I have a feeling Sometime in the future, you may see these in a de-stash or a giveaway. We're almost done. And then I have to go count them, oh, which I don't want to do. Um, we have this one, which is a really fun pen. This kind of reminds me of like the 80s, which I wasn't born in the 80s, but <laughs> it still reminds me of the 80s, even though I didn't exist then. But I love the color. It's just like, it's just fun. I have not found a kit that this matches just yet. So this is one that I have not used. This one here is a favorite. I used this one on one of my recent finishes. Uh, I'm not quite sure that that post review has gone up yet, but I did use this on one of my recent finishes. This pen here is my first um, pen from him. Yellow, of course. 
Here I have some of the, the segmented pens that I was talking about before. I love these pens. I just think they're so neat. So we have this one. I love this colorway. And then this one, which is just really fun. Can you tell I like neons? I feel like there's been a lot of neons in this collection here. So we have this neon, which I think this actually glows as well. And then the purple and white swirls down there. All right, we're coming up to the end. These are pens, pen blanks that I had looked for for so long. I was never able to get my hands on them. Um, like I would see a different turner come out with them and they would just go so quickly. So Jim actually purchased some of these blanks, put them up for sale, and I ordered these three. I think it's is it like Ice Princess, Mermaid, and no, Princess Dress and Mermaid something. So beautiful pens. I love these ones. And then I have three Christmas pens. Um, these type of like floating glitter ones, he normally can only do in a three bump, which is fine. So we have the snowflakes, the Christmas trees, and then this Christmas glitter. So those are my pens from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Let me pick these up, do a count, and I will be right back. Okay, <laughs> so I just went through and counted my pens, and honestly, my mind's a little blown. I feel like I'm going to have to do a pen, like, de-stash. Um, I have 212 diamond painting pens, which is insane. Yeah, it's... Yeah, <laughs> I'm not ashamed because I love collecting pens and I, I, for the most part, I love all of the pens that I have. There were a couple that I pointed out to you guys that I may de-stash or include in giveaways in the future. Um, you know, I love collecting them. Um, however, I have scaled back quite a bit on my pen purchases. Um, I have a couple coming, um, but yeah <laughs> i'm just like a little blown away by that number so anyway those are my pens i hope you love them as much as i do um i totally understand if you're not a pen collector um i just love matching them with my kits i don't i kind of feel like i'm trying to justify myself but i don't think i need to it's uh my collection it's what i like um i hope you enjoyed let me know down below if you two are a pen collector or if you have just a few that you cycle through and use on the same kits or you use the same pens on all of your kits i know that there are some people that operate like that and i think that that's great um looking at all of my pens at once kind of wishes kind of makes me wish that i was like that um, but i'm not and i do love uh supporting the turners there are a few turners that i have not purchased from that i would love to I feel like now that I have the collection that I do, I'm a lot more particular about what I'm buying and um, I'd like to be a little more selective and purchasing things that I don't have similar ones of in my collection. Um, I know that you probably saw some pens that you're like, well, that's really similar to that one. And that's true, which is why I would like to kind of go through my pens. Maybe now is a good good time go through my pens pull out ones that I don't maybe I don't love or that I feel like are too similar to each other and kind of just put them to the side for future giveaways or a de-stash so that's definitely on my mind now it's getting close to spring so maybe I need to have a little spring cleaning diamond painting moment but yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed um this was my first collection first of many um I will be uh filming some more collection videos they take a lot of time so it's something that i have to uh devote some time on the weekend to i don't have time during the week um because i work a full-time job so yeah but i hope you enjoyed and let me know if you had a favorite pen and i will see you all in my next video bye